Uh, good evening, everybody. How many have we got watching? Four. Brilliant. <laughs> Hope everyone's staying uh, well. Uh, I'm sure people are out, being out on the... Well, I don't know what the weather's like in Carlisle, but it's certainly quite nice here. Um, a bit flustered tonight. Sorry, I was just coming in from a meeting, so uh, apologies. But don't worry, we've got 20 great questions again. Um, uh, I, think it's a, I think it's marginally e easier this week. I don't know, maybe not. It's easy to say when you know the answers, isn't it? Um, but anyway, thank you everyone for joining us again for another episode of Be Just and Quiz On. Um, uh, yes, uh, I'll just give you a quick update on everything. Of course, uh, if you don't know, we are QOS, Carl United Official Sports Club. Um, I'm Jack. Um, I'm sure everyone here is, is aware of Carl Reunited. That is our fundraising um, uh, initiative for... Next season, because we know all EFL clubs are going to face a lot of uncertainty. So, if you need any more details, just uh, head to the head to the website. But we're having um, we've had a really good response to everything so far. Um, right. So tonight, twenty questions. Um, what I'll do is I'll fly through them as per usual. I'm sure you all know the drill, and then. Um, I'll repeat the first five or so dead quick at the end for anyone that was still stuck in the beehive. And then we'll go through the answers. And um, and then I'll leave you all till, uh, till next time. Um, so thanks again for joining us. We'll make a quick start. Okay. Question number one. Which Carlisle United figure had this playing career? Blackpool, Hartlepool United, Huddersfield before finishing at Rochdale. Which Carlisle United figure had this playing career? Blackpool, Hartlepool United, Huddersfield before finishing at Rochdale. Okay. Question number two. After Sheffield Wednesday failed to beat Colchester, which club secured their promotion to the championship when they beat us 1-0 in the 2011-2012 season at Brunton Park? So question two was, after Sheffield Wednesday failed to beat Colchester, which club secured their promotion to the championship when they beat us 1-0 in the 2011-2012 season at Brunton Park? Question number three. Between March 1959 and March 1960, United were managed by a man who was also, during that period, in charge of the Scotland national team. Name him. So between March 1959 and March 1960, Carlisle were managed by a man who was also during that period in charge of the Scotland national team. Who was that? Uh, I've got some Brunton Park questions coming up next. So uh, here we go. I said this was easy. I think this is quite hard. Um, certainly one of the harder questions of the evening. So, OK, how many executive boxes were supposed to be in the East Stand according to its spec? Question four, how many executive boxes were supposed to be in the East Stand according to its spec? And question five, what year did the East Stand officially open? What year did the East Stand officially open? Question six, the main grandstand at Brunton Park, so what we know as the, the West Stand, I suppose, suffered a major fire, but in what year? A, 1951. B, 1952, or C, 1953? Question six. The main grandstand at Brunton Park suffered a major fire, but in what year? A, 1951, B, 1952, or C, 1953? I think they're quite hard, but don't worry. We're, we're on to more football things now. Seven. Danny Granger, Gary Miller, and John Sutton, remember him, um, all played for Carlisle and which SPL club? Danny Granger, Gary Miller, John Sutton. All played for Carlisle and which SPL club? Question number eight. In United's sole season in the top flight in 1974-75, the lowest record attendance at Brunton Park was just 8,339. Name the opponents that day. In United's sole season in the top flight in 1974-75, the lowest record attendance at Brunswick Park was just 8,339. Name the opponents that day. What I should have done was followed it up with what the score was, but I don't actually know. So if anyone can tell me, um, I'll give you a, a million bonus points. 
or I could just use Google. <clears throat> Whatever. Uh, number number nine. Which former blue had this career? Stoke, loan to Carlisle, permanent to Carlisle between 1993 and 96, Grimsby, Barnsley, and Rochdale. So which former blue had this career? Stoke City, loan to Carlisle, permanent to Carlisle between 1993 and 96, Grimsby, Barnsley, and Rochdale. Question number 10. Two members of Sunderland's victorious 1973 FA Cup side would later play for Carlisle United. For two points, name them both. So two members of Sunderland's victorious 1973 FA Cup side would later play for us. Name them both for two points. Question number 11. Who did we play? Right, we were 3-1 down and won 4-3 away on Tuesday, 24th of November, 2015. Who did we play? Okay, so we were 3-1 down and we won the game 4-3. We were away and it was Tuesday, the 24th of November, 2015. Who was the opposition? And in a similar vein, question 12. Who did we play? This hurts because we were 1-0 up in the 93rd minute, but lost the game 2-1 on Tuesday, 10th of February, 2015. So who did we play? We were 1-0 up in the 93rd minute, but lost the game 2-1 on Tuesday, the 10th of February, 2015. Who was the opposition? Question number 13. In October 1985, following a 4-0 home defeat to Norwich City, United dispensed with their services of their manager. Who was he? So in October 1985, following a 4-0 home defeat to Norwich City, United sacked their manager. Who was that manager? Question 14. I like this question because it's random. Um, I think people will get it, though. But which former Blue has also played for? <sighs> what a list of clubs. Linfield. Limerick, Accrington Stanley, and Paris Saint-Germain. <laughs> Which former blue has played for Linfield, Limerick, Accrington Stanley, and Paris Saint-Germain? He was an answer a few weeks ago, actually. I don't know if that's a clue. I'd say Paris Saint-Germain's a pretty big clue. Okay, question 15. Uh, this is for two points. The Carlisle's chances of promotion in the 1989-90 season were hampered by broken legs suffered by two key players. Name both unfortunate players. One of them, I think a lot of us know, and is an absolute top bloke. But question 15. Carlisle's chances of promotion in the 1989-90 season were hampered by broken legs suffered by two key players. Name both unfortunate players. Okay, uh, question 16 is the name of the season question. So if it was this season just gone, you have to answer it in the format of 2019-20. Okay, so name the season. Top scorer, Lee Miller. Francois Zoko scored an own goal in the opening game of the season. And we were knocked out of the FA Cup away at Charlton. Name the season. Top scorer, Lee Miller. Francois Zoko scored an own goal in the opening game of the season. And we were knocked out of the FA Cup away at Charlton. Question 17 is very modern. Who scored a goal against Notts County by running from behind the keeper and pouncing on the ball as soon as the goalkeeper rolled it onto the floor? Wasn't a very nice night, this, but small highlight. Who scored a goal against Notts County by running from behind the keeper when the keeper put the ball on the ground um, and rolled it out of the floor? He pounced on the ball as soon as the goalkeeper rolled it out on the floor. I, I can't read my own writing. Sorry, I'm not very professional. Question 18. Who scored this goal against Halifax Town in 2005 after the opposition keeper walked out of the box with the ball after being summoned by the referee? Then a very uh, quick free kick, then a very quick free kick. Um, led the ball to this goal scorer who passed it into the net. So who was this? Uh, who was that goal scorer? I'll explain that again slower because 
not being a very good quiz master tonight. So, who scored this goal against Halifax Town in 2005 when the opposition keeper walks out of the box with the ball in his hand because the referee summoned him? Then a very quick free kick followed there, which led the ball uh, where the, the free kick taker passed the ball to this goal scorer who passed it into the goal. So, who scored that goal? If you know the goal, that absolute terrible attempt of me trying to describe it, you'll, you'll know the answer straight away. If you don't, you don't know the answer. Uh, question number 19. Which Carlisle United goalkeeper scored a goal for us against Blackpool, not Plymouth, on the 24th of October 2000? Which Carlisle United goalkeeper scored a goal for us against Blackpool on 24th of October 2000? We must be the only club in the world that has two questions going. Which Carlisle United goalkeeper scored? And question 20. Um, which former manager was playing for Blackpool in that game? It's question 20, following up from the uh, goalkeeper question. Which former manager was playing for Blackpool in that game? That's your 20 questions. I'll quickly reel off the first, uh, the top five um, for you. And then I'll go for the answers. So, question number one was, Carlisle United, uh, sorry, which Carlisle United figure had this playing career? Blackpool, Hartlepool United, Huddersfield, before finishing at Rochdale. Which Carlisle United figure had this playing career? Blackpool, Hartlepool United, Huddersfield, before finishing at Rochdale. Question two, after Sheffield Wednesday failed to beat Colchester, which club secured their promotion to the championship when they beat us 1-0 in the 2011-2012 season at Brunson Park? After Sheffield Wednesday failed to beat Colchester, which club secured their promotion to the championship, beating us 1-0, 2011-2012 at Brunton Park? Question three, between March 1959 and March 1960, United were managed by a name who was also during the period in charge of the Scotland national team. Who was that manager? Between March 59 and March 60, Carlisle were managed by a man who also during that period was in charge of the Scotland national team. Who? Question four. How many executive boxes were supposed to be the was supposed to be in the East Stand according to its spec? How many executive boxes were supposed to be in the East Stand according to its spec? And question five, what year did the East Stand officially open? Okay. Uh, time for answers. So the Carlisle figure uh, who had the playing career at Blackpool, Hartlepool, Huddersfield before finishing at Rochdale, that was our gaffer, Chris Beach. Chris Beach. Question two. After Sheffield Wednesday failed to beat Colchester, which club secured their promotion to the championship, beating us 1-0 uh, at Brunton Park in 2011-12? That was Charlton Athletic. Question three. Between March 59 and 60, uh, Carlisle were managed by a manager who also managed Scotland at the same time. That was Andy Beatty. Well done if you got these. Uh, this next one. How many executive boxes were supposed to be in the East Stand according to its spec? 18. If you got that, I'll take my hat off to you. Um, and what year did the East Stand officially open? That was 1996. Question six. The main grandstand at Brunton Park suffered a major fire, but in what year? A, 1951, B, 1952, or C, 1953? It was C, 1953. Question seven. Danny Granger, Gary Miller, and John Sutton have all played for Carlisle and which SPL club? I bet a lot of you have said Hearts, but the answer is, in fact, St. Johnston. And number eight, in United's sole season in the top flight in 1974-75, the lowest record attendance at Brunton Park was just 8,339. Name the opponents that day. It was Luton Town. And if anyone can um, tell me the score, then I'll take my hat off further to you. Uh, question nine, which former blue of this career? Stoke, loaned to us, then permanent to us between 93 and 96. Grimsby, Barnsley... And Rochdale it was Tony Gallimore. What a player. Um, question 10 for two points. Two members of Sunderland's victorious 1973 FA Cup side would later play for Carlisle United. Name them both. It was Billy Hughes and Mick Horsewill. 
Billy Hughes and Mick Horswell. Question number 11. Who did we play? We were 3-1 down and won 4-3 away on Tuesday 24th of November 2015. That was also Luton Town. The second time they've come up tonight as an answer. Up the Hatters. Question 12. Who did we play? We were 1-0 up in the 93rd minute, but lost the game 2-1 on Tuesday 10th of February 2015. That was Shrewsbury Town, which I've managed to type Shrewsbury Town. <clears throat> I told you I was in a rush tonight. Uh, question 13. In October 1985, following a 4-0 home defeat to Norwich City, United dispensed with their services of their manager. Who was he? Brian Pop Robson. In question 14, which former Blue has played for Linfield, Limerick, Accrington, Stanley and Paris Saint-Germain? Bastian Henry. 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 Uh, yeah. Strictly speaking, Paris Saint-Germain too, as they call, but he was still contracted to Paris Saint-Germain. Okay, uh, question 15. Carlisle's chances of promotion in the 1989-90 season were hampered by broken legs suffered by two key players. Name both unfortunate players. It was Ian Dalziel and friend of Kiosk and friend of many other Carlisle fans, John Halpin. John Halpin and Ian Dalziel. Question 16. Name the season. Top scorer Lee Miller. Francois Zoko scored an own goal in the opening game of the season. And we were knocked out of the FA Cup away at Charlton. That was 2011-2012. Question 17. Who scored a goal against Notts County by running from behind the keeper and pouncing on the ball as soon as the goalkeeper rolled it onto the floor? Of course, I'm sure a lot of you were there in on a very miserable night. Hallam Hope. Question 18 was the question where I uh, lost the ability to speak basic English. Let's try that one again. Who scored a goal against Halifax Town in 2005 after the opposition keeper walked out of the box be uh, with the ball in hand after being summoned by the ref? The following free kick was taken very quickly, which was tapped to the goal scorer who passed it into the net. That's the third different way I've described that goal tonight. But I'm sure you're all, you all know it was Magno Silva Vieira. Question 19. Which Carlisle United goalkeeper scored a goal for us against Blackpool on the 24th of October 2000? It was Peter Keane. And the last answer tonight, which former manager was playing for Blackpool in that game? It was Paul Simpson. That's your lot for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thanks for coming. I hope everyone's staying safe um, and staying sane. And yes, of course, if um, if anyone would like to get involved in Kiosk, we're always on the look for uh, new members and new ideas and things. And of course, um, please do get involved in the Carlisle Reunited campaign if you haven't already done so. If you have, thank you very much. Um, it's very much appreciative. Um, and of course, we've got pledges who have... Um, pledge to give money once the Looking Good video on YouTube gets to 3,000. Uh, you can find details on Kiosk's website about that. Um, so that'll give the. Uh, so even if you've got no money to give, um, you can just all you need to do is watch watch that uh, that video a few times. And um, if anyone wants, uh, we've got things updating all the time about Carlisle Reunited on the YouTube channels, Twitter, and Facebook, and. If anyone wants to donate even a little bit of money um, each month or whatever you can, um, we've made it really easy via PayPal for, for people to do that. Um, and, of course, other more traditional ways of paying in are available. Um, thank you very much. Um, I'm just looking at my phone because someone was supposed to send me a message to say that they were watching. Um, it doesn't look like they are. Um, stay safe, everybody. Up the blues. Thank you.